I will try to point out a few differences between a cheap, expensive, good and bad paintball mask. I will not point out any specific mask. I will just give you a hint on what to look for. There are a few different types of lenses. First off we have the simplest and cheapest lens of them all. The single clear lens. And you don't want to buy this type of lens. Because there is a risk of getting condensation on your lens. And you will not be able to see anything. So the first thing to look for is a double lens or a terminal lens. That is a different name for the same thing. In short a double lens works like your windows at home. Building a temperature barrier of air between the indoor and outdoor air. With a double lens on a paintball mask you, you reduce the risk of condensation a lot. Then when it comes to the color of the lenses I have put them in different groups. The first group is the clear lens that is uh, just a simple clear glass. That sort of lens will probably in most cases give you a normal and good view without any distortions. There are no differences the eye needs to adjust to when you take your mask on and off. Then we have the colored lens like this yellow lens that will make your environment a bit brighter. It could be good on a foggy day or if you play in a dense forest. Other types of lenses are the smoky lens. A smoky lens will make it a bit darker the whole time and doesn't adjust uh, depending on the lightning. And at last we have the mirror lenses. They could be in different types of color but they all have a mirror surface. So if you are talking with one using a mirror lens you will see yourself in his lens. They look really cool but I'm a bit unsure about the function. And if you play like a woods ball, this is not a lens for you because you will stand out a lot in the, the nature. And let's take a closer look at the mask and start off with the foam inside the mask. Uh, more expensive masks have a foam inside and often a thicker foam than cheaper masks. In a more expensive mask there are also an easy way to replace the foam. You can easily remove it and then click in a new piece of foam. Cheaper masks tend to have a rubber inside or less, of, less foam than a more expensive have. Uh, both the rubber and foam variant are often glued into the mask. You can replace the rubber or foam but you need to remove it with force and uh, glue it on again. Another thing to look for is the headband and the chin strap and some even have uh, straps over your head. In cheaper masks you will often have a thinner head and chin strap without any foam. And with more expensive masks uh, they have wider chin straps and uh, wider headbands that are more comfy. And they often have an easier locking me mechanism. Like uh, magnets that helps you lock it or guide it into place. Or locking mechanism that you can adjust or close with just one hand. Then we have to talk a bit about the mask itself, the plastic and the design. One thing that almost all more expensive masks have is a softer plastic or rubber. It's supposed to be more comfortable and some say it could help paintballs bounce off without the paintballs breaking on the mask. Cheaper masks tend to have a harder plastic but that doesn't need to be a bad thing. It's just another way of making masks. And some think uh, the hard plastic protects you better and some people think the more expensive rubber or, or soft plastic protects your face better or feels better. One crucial thing with the design is how breathable the mask is. You want a lot of hole in the mask so you can uh, could breathe good when you're running and if the mask have good ventilation it also helps you with the condensation. There are cheaper masks with good ventilation and there are more expensive masks with bad ventilation. My best recommendation is to just look at the mask and the area around the mouth if it looks to have a good ventilation or not. The last thing and one of the more important things to look for when buying a paintball mask is the size of the mask. Many paintball masks are small in size so if you have a bigger head it could be a bit hard to find a mask with a good fit. Also, if you want to play with glasses, you need a mask with a bigger lens. And that was all for today. Uh, see you next time.